Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Deadpool and Wolverine. Well, after many, many years and after many, many advertisements on, you know, YouTube, TV shows, the street, food, and every freaking corner, this movie is finally here. Deadpool and Wolverine, aka Deadpool 3. Before I start, there are so many spoilers, so, you know, watch out. Let's see if Deadpool 3 is good. Does it live up to the hype? Yes and no. Well, let's dig deeper. You know, you should look at this movie in two ways. One, a sequel for Deadpool, and two, Wade Wilson's entrance to the MCU. As far as the sequel part is concerned, it's a total step back comparing to Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2 even, which was, in my opinion, was a step back compared to Deadpool 1. Why this movie is not a great sequel for Deadpool? Well, the jokes and brutality, they were not as good and satisfying. Even though the opening scene was brutal and satisfying and I was actually happy and waiting for other things like that, we had some of those, but mostly the jokes were about penis stuff and things like that. And uh, Deadpool's writers and writing were a bit smarter than that. The other thing was the characters. You know, in Deadpool 1 and 2, we had so many characters that people loved. Like Vanessa, Ranjit, you know, Peter even, Weasel, which is not in this movie. And I was sad to see them, you know, kind of gone and off screen. Wade and Vanessa's relationship and Ranjit and others played a huge part, which was the soul of the previous movies. And in this movie, they were, you know, absent. I was not okay with that. I was not okay actually with how Wade and Vanessa were not doing fine given it didn't impact the story like at all but it is understandable actually since the movie wanted to spend more time with new characters newcomers the other thing that was actually annoying was the fourth wall breaking deadpool's signature move was you know breaking the fourth wall and it worked perfectly in the first movie because it was enough it was just the right amount and one of the main critics that deadpool 2 got was how many times Deadpool broke the fourth wall and in this movie they just went all in man it's fun as much as you use it the right amount but if you do it excessively it makes the fans to not connect with the movie itself what I want to say is that when you know your character knows what's up all the dangers and risks they feel very low stakes in this movie where Deadpool constantly broke the fourth wall and even calls actors by their real life names like Hugh Jackman and Paul Rudd, it just fades the effects away. I don't deny it though, Deadpool did destroy MCU with the self-aware jokes and some of them really landed and made me laugh, but I wish they were a bit more subtle and chill about it. Now it's time to look at this movie you know in the second way wade wilson's entrance or deadpool's entrance to the mcu well in that case we have a total winner in our hands i'm sure this movie will be hit and it will make a lot of money it's one of the best movies that came out of the mcu since the guardians 3 if not the best one including the abysmal tv shows Hugh Jackman made an iconic return as Logan and I love the way that the movie Logan, which is my all-time favorite comic book movie, Logan was respected and remained intact. Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds wanted to make this movie together for a long time and their chemistry is undeniably the best part of this movie. They have a couple of awesome fight scenes together and they were so satisfying. And now I have to talk about the main thing about this movie that, you know, that was it. The movie was it. It was the cameos. It was one of the best fan services I've ever seen since No Way Home. We had so many characters. We had Wesley Snipes' Blade, Channing Tatum's Gambit, which was never made, Jennifer Garner's Elektra, even Henry Cavill's Wolverine. They were all side characters, unlike No Way Home that used Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield as the main characters, but still, they were wonderful. I personally enjoyed Chris Evans' return as Human Torch, Johnny Storm. I laughed so goddamn hard that I almost choked. I do have some major issues with the villain, but it is an MCU villain. 
I liked Cassandra Nova, she turned cartoonishly evil at the end, but other than that, she was better than, you know, most of the MCU villains. At the end, I have to say, I truly enjoyed Deadpool and Wolverine. It could have been so much better, but again, it could have been so much worse. This movie was a fan service and leaned a bit too much on it. And I seriously don't see the people who just want to, you know, go to cinemas. I don't think they really enjoyed as much as the comic book fans or the MCU fans. And this is where No Way Home 1 and Deadpool 3 lost. And uh, that is why I said this movie was a great movie and also, you know, a mediocre movie. What did you think about this one? Comment your thoughts and opinions down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. I am back after a long, long time. Hope you're doing great and uh, that's it. Goodbye.